Recently watched a silly video of all Eurovision songs from this year played at once, yeah. and the only the only one that you can hear in this video is the Polish one. <laughs> <laughs> it's of course because their voices are very distinguishable, and I think this song is very cool. It it's a very cool mixture between these uh, folky singing and uh, folky influences and the, the bass he bass heavy rock part. And in, in this, it's, it's more subversive than you might think of it, especially from Poland. I think it will polarize a lot. I've um, already heard from people who um, uh, know Polish and really hate the song um, instead of that. Um, but it's um, very different than everything else that came from Poland before. I hope no, what, nobody will compare it to the 2014 entry because that's a very difficult one to uh, go up against just yeah. because of their costumes, of course. Uh, musically, there is no, uh, almost no similarities between these two. But um, I hope they are um, working on a good idea to bring this to the stage because their static style of performing is interesting but not enough for Eurovision. I don't think that just working with cameras and LEDs will be enough to lift this into a very good position. It could qualify, but this is an interesting one. Yeah, definitely a common comp uh, common complaint uh, I've heard is that uh, they're very static on stage, and like you're gonna need to work on like really good camera angles and LEDs and stuff like that to keep it interesting. Because otherwise, like it, it, like it, if it's too static, people are like gonna lose interest very quickly. Um, I'm on the side of me really liking this. Like, like I, I know it's a very acquired taste, um, but, like, I just um, really enjoy, like, the folky singing uh, in combination with, with the rock backing. Uh, I, I've heard people compare it to uh, a Beatles song. I can't remember which one, but... Um, I think it may be Revolver. Oh. I'm not quite sure. Like, like my memory's gone, but um, <laughs> I'm not too familiar with uh, the latter Beatles catalogue. I'm more familiar with the earlier stuff. Um, but um, anyway, um, and and I like that whole um, the, the whole aesthetic with the with the folk costumes. Like, I love a good folk costume as well. I I think that's very cute. Um, uh, I, I'm a little bit um with the this English revamp. Like I was a bit thrown off at first, but like it's not too invasive. Um, uh, my my concern is that you know they've added this like a cappella bit at the beginning, and that's just like full on like sharp folk singing straight off, and that could alienate people right off the bat which is my which is a bit of a concern because uh, as i said earlier this kind of singing is a very acquired taste and i'm a little bit concerned that this is a bit too local um to um fully translate outside of the diaspora I think um, maybe if this was a more eastern leaning semi final, this could play better. Uh, it's po Poland's probably gutted that uh, Ukraine or not um, had to pull out uh, of this semi final um, because it probably could have gone down pretty well in Ukraine, I think. Uh, but um, oh. but regardless, I, I enjoy the song and. Um, yeah, yeah. Like I would like it to qualify, but I wouldn't be terribly surprised if it didn't. Although I'd still be quite sad. <laughs> mm. I'm conflicted here. You know, um, I I can't decide whether I like this art, and even after a few listens, I still I'm still none the wiser. Um, what I like about this is that they haven't again. They haven't catered to Eurovision. They've taken an existing song that's, you know, representative of Polish music 
and they've put it in the Eurovision. And Poland, for me, were the the avant-garde nation in Eurovision in about the, the mid to late 90s. And for me, this, this harks back to that golden era for Poland. But I don't know if I like it or not. It's maybe a bit loud and a bit in your face. But I want, I want to like it, and I am trying. I'm trying my best. Uh, one song you could compare this to is Estonia 2004. And um, <gasps> oh. they are kind of similar. And I think they just missed out in the semifinal. Of course, that was a bigger semifinal, but it could be an indicator of what's to come this year as well. Yeah, that oh, wouldn't no, be that... Too, too bad an omen. Because yeah. I think they were only no, that like... That song was a tune. It was great, yes. That was really great. Yeah. Yes. Like, from what I can recall, I think they were only one point off qualifying, if I recall correctly. At least they were uh, the the best song that didn't qualify, yes. Yeah, yeah, they were joint 11th, yeah. Okay, so um, let's give Poland a score. I'm going to give this a four. Oh. oh, I feel bad now. It's only a two. <laughs> oh. Giving it a four. Okay, and uh, the public agree with John, actually. It's only a two out of five from them. I I don't feel good about them agreeing with me. 